Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for joining us for the Starship webinar. Today, we're going to take a look at our Dynamics GP integration and talk about four ways that we can boost your e-commerce shipping. My name is Chris Lutner. I'm a sales rep with V Technologies, and I handle the Dynamics GP customer base. A little bit about the company before we get started here, just a brief PowerPoint. Uh, the company was founded in 1987, so we have over 30 years of experience with creating integrated shipping solutions uh, for starting with uh, the UPS and FedEx carriers. And we've expanded that over the years to include all the different parcel carriers, as well as uh, a whole host of LTL options. In 2001, we began working with the Great Plains software, starting with Great Plains Accounting on DOS. Uh, so nearly a 30 year history with uh, working with the GP product. And currently, there are over 10,000 customers using V Technologies shipping solutions. So, a little bit about the Dynamics GP integration. Um, we offer a plug and play uh, interface that would basically pull all the order data out of GP and that will streamline the shipping process for both your small package and LTL shipments. Uh, we offer a GP fulfillment item uh, module that can. Uh, update the item quantities. We also have uh, hooks for lot serial distribution, as well as interfaces into a few different uh, WMS packages like High Jumps, Collect for GP, and Panatrack. Starship also offers you the ability to quote freight. Uh, so from within the order entry module and sales order processing, you have the ability to quote freight uh, right from the order entry screen and pull that up into a single view of all your various carriers so you can do a side-by-side -side comparison and make a decision on how you want to ship the freight. Starship also offers EDI integration, so you have the ability to print uh, the barcoded 128 labels for your trading partners and streamline that ASN process by handing off the pack container data to build the 856 to a lot of the EDI solutions that are popular in the GP space, such as SPS Commerce, True Commerce and Data Masons. But let's get to the reason why we're here today, talk more about the e-commerce integration that Starship offers. We started building that out uh, a number of years ago, first with the Amazon and eBay marketplaces, and then we've expanded that over the years, continuing to add additional platforms, um, different marketplaces and shopping carts that we're able to integrate into. With GP, you have uh, really two different workflows, and uh, we'll go through that today. Uh, you have the ability to map some order data in from GP into Starship, so you have the same sort of workflow with your regular phone or EDI orders. And uh, if you have a bridge between your shopping cart or your marketplace and GP, all the orders come into GP, and we link a few bits of information, uh, namely the, uh, the platform that it's coming from and the order number that you want to ship against. Uh, some of the carts also offer the ability to do uh, parcel shipments at the line item level. Uh, so for those carts, we can also map over the line items and you have the ability to partially fulfill the items. Uh, once that's shipped, we'll hit the APIs for the carts or the marketplace, upload all of the tracking status and put that over there. So you have uh, the same sort of information in GP as you have on the cart. So if you're pushing your users to that portal, to look at uh, the order status, I uh, will be able to see that there. A little bit about the uh, different e-commerce platforms that we're working with. You may recognize some of the names here, a lot of the larger popular cart software platforms like Magento, Shopify, Woo, BigCommerce. And we're continuing to expand that list over time. If there's a platform or marketplace that you're selling on currently and you don't see it here, feel free to contact your customer account manager. We're always looking for feedback from our customers on how we can expand this integration and help you streamline that process. Starship also has the ability to ship directly against any of these uh, carts or marketplaces that you see here as well. So if you have orders that uh, you need to ship directly off of the cart, uh, Starship can also tap into those as a data source directly and we can bypass the GP integration altogether with that. Starship's also continuing to expand its carrier offering. Uh, so we're continually adding additional carriers 
uh, national and regional freight carriers. You also have that for your parcel carriers. So a lot of, a lot of names that you may recognize here. And again, if there's other carriers or um, logistics companies that you're working with, we're always looking to uh, get feedback from our customers on how they want to uh, work with those carriers. And we're tracking enhancements, so feel free to contact us and we'll be happy to talk to you about options. There are also some hosted options as well that we have uh, access to. So if there's a name that you don't see here, we could also explore other ways that we could get those rates and carriers into the application. For a lot of your e-commerce shipments, there's a lot of uh, savings that can be had by shifting some of that volume to the post office. Uh, Starship has the ability to give you access to uh, heavily discounted postal rates comparable to the commercial plus pricing through the post office uh, without any of the volume restrictions. Um, so we can do a audit of your existing UPS and FedEx bills and uh, so show you where we could save you some money, uh, particularly in the package range of one to 20 pounds. So we see that typically in the e-commerce space, you have a lot of single piece orders under those weights. And but just by looking at uh, your volume and your freight spend over a period of time, looking at the packaging that you're using, we may be able to target uh, some of that volume that you could shift to the post office and realize some significant savings. And with that, we're going to jump into a product demo. Just change screens here, one moment. Okay, this is the newer Starship web client that you're viewing here. You do have the ability to continue to toggle back and forth between both the desktop and the web client version of Starship. If you don't have access to the web client currently in your existing version, you can feel free to contact us and we'll be happy to set you up with the web client version. Works in the same fashion as the desktop. You're working off of the document number, uh, that document ID coming out of GP, so you can scan or enter your order number here. Or you also have filters where you can drill down into a subset of data. So maybe you want to look at uh, certain orders uh, with e-commerce. A lot of times uh, those may, may go into a separate batch. The batches are a great way of narrowing down that view. So maybe we want to just look at our e-commerce orders here. And that can shrink down the view of which orders you're looking at working with. Another great way to identify your web orders um, coming out of GP is also by the order prefix. So we could also add that as an additional filter. And that'll narrow down the view even further. So with that, we've got our orders here. Uh, you can also uh, multi-select here. If you have multiple transactions, we're gonna go ahead and ship this first transaction here. So Starship will connect over to GP, bring over all that order information and fill that out on the clients. Uh, you'll notice a difference here, there's no more tabs where you're navigating from tab to tab. You have all the information in a single view here, and then you have these widgets where everything is kind of carved up. We're starting over here at the source of the order data. You'll see those fields that we mapped in from GP. Uh, so you have, of course, your order information, and then I have the platform. So I've put that into a user-defined field, and I've mapped the uh, web order number from uh, the purchase order field in GP. Uh, same sort of functionality with the ship to address. We can pull that from the header or the line item level in GP. And with that, we'll validate the address. You'll see a green checkbox there looking at the city state zip, uh, zip plus four, postal formatting if you choose that as a preference. And probably most importantly, with a lot of e commerce orders, uh, we are shipping direct to consumer. Uh, we'll flag any residential address, so rural area, residential business zone, any of those um, additional accessorials that may be picked up with the um, with the address validation will appropriately rate that and you're not losing any money on that freight. 
take a look down here at our products. You have the product information. You also have the packaging. I have a preference that this takes my items and puts them into my default box. We can pack those out individually here. Or you also have the packing assistant. You can have Starship bring you directly to this screen. This is similar to the shipping assistant in the desktop version. And from here, we can break these out into separate packages if we choose. I'll go ahead and add a box. And I'm going to separate out my large and medium t-shirts. We're going to put those into separate containers. Go ahead and give that a weight. If you have weights in inventory, those can be brought over as well. Starship can also interface directly with your scale. So we can uh, pull the weight directly off the scale. There's also uh, dimensional scales through KibaScan that we can scan the exterior dimensions of the scale, excuse me, of the package and uh, calculate the dimensional weight versus the actual weight. Once we got everything packed up here, if we're ready to uh, select the carrier, the ship method will come over. We translated that automatically, but uh, we may want to take a look at other carriers that we could ship this out with. We'll go ahead and do the rate shopping and then Starship will give you a list of all the various options that are available to this destination. So as you can see here, we kept it with UPS ground. That's what came over as our ship preferred ship method on the order. But you can see there's also some additional uh, methods that we could get it there. You can sort by the price or also transit time. So you can see here, there's several methods we could get the, the uh, package there in a shorter amount of time and at a cheaper price if we shifted that volume to the post office. We'll go ahead and keep it with UPS for demonstration purposes today. I'll go ahead and process the transaction. The ship and process or F3 is your shortcut on the web client. That'll print your labels, your documents. Here you see a preview of a packing list and a shipping label, we can print those to thermal or laser printers. And with that, we'll bring you back over to the front screen where you can select the next transaction. So let's take a look at that transaction that we shipped out here, both in GP and on our shopping cart. So a lot of the same information is going to be trickling back into GP as well as the shopping cart. Of course, you have your order header notes here, and you can customize that to have whatever level of detail you're looking for here. It'll basically tell you when it went out, when it's going to get there, carrier, the service level, piece counts, and then a little breakdown of what was actually shipped, your contents of those shipments with the tracking information. Batch ID, I have all my orders uh after they're shipped move to a shipped batch so we can tag that batch on the right back you'll see the customer po number i'm using the web order number here you have the marked up freight here with any kind of handling or discounts that you want to apply so it'll be passed on to the invoice My user-defined fields, I have the tracking information for both of my containers here. Here's where I flag the platform that it's coming from. So this is if I have uh, multiple shopping carts, different uh, websites that I'm managing or I'm selling on Amazon, uh, we can flag it so Starship will know. It can toggle back and forth between the different uh, e-commerce data sources and it knows which API to hit when it's writing back. Then I also have some additional data mapped back here to a user defined field to capture my costs. So if I want to run a smart list, uh, see what my freight spend is, what my profit margin would be between these orders, I have the ability to grab some fields and do some custom write back, plugging that data into the user defined fields. Starship, Starship also has a SQL extension, and that can open up additional options for you to move data in and out of the application by putting information into uh, extender tables. We could also use that to hit other applications within your environment, such as SalesPad, CRM, uh, service. Really any SQL or ODBC data source on the network can be opened up with that SQL extension. 
it's really just those two bits of information here. I mapped the um, platform and then the order number and Starship knew how to uh, write that information into the shopping cart. We'll go ahead and take a look at the order over here. And so with that order, I'm using uh, Shopify, but uh, as you can see, we have you know multiple platforms that we can connect into. Go ahead and take a look at that transaction. So Starship uh, marked it as uh, fulfilled, so we can do that as it's being shipped. You'll have the tracking information plugged back in over here, and then the same sort of uh, order detail uh, will be updated into the notes. So you have all the shipment information here same as you would put that back in the GP. That happens real time. So as soon as we're processing shipments out in the warehouse, we're updating both GP and the shopping cart. So all the most recent up-to-date information will be available for your customer to see on the portal. Take a look back in Starship here at how exactly that happens. And we're going to get into our mappings. And this is where you can tell Starship where to pull that information from. So we're looking at our order fields. And then you have those two flags that I showed you coming out of the order. Uh, so my user defined field the ordered by that's where I'm putting in the uh, platform that I'm connecting to and Starship can do value translations on any of the detail coming out of GP. So we have a one for one translation here between the different platforms and that can really be anything it doesn't have to have the exact name there we can translate any value. And then here's where you match up from the list of different options that we have available. Once Starship sees that, then it's going to be looking for the order number. And I have that just captured in the customer PO number field. It's really up to you where you put that information. We can work around uh, whatever fields you store that information in. If you have all your user defined fields maxed out, we can also, as I said, get into any extender tables using a SQL extension. So we just need to be able to point Starship at those fields to let it know that it's a web order. We do also have the ability to ship against e-commerce data sources directly as well. So if you purchase the module, you'll have the ability to ship out of GP or any of the e-commerce modules that you've licensed. And here you can see all of my Shopify orders coming over directly. Really the same shipping process here with that. Go ahead and select the order, ship it out, and there's really no difference with what you're doing with GP. So with that, we're pushing the data to GP, we're push pushing it to the cart. Starship also has the ability to send out a branded email notification as well. So if you want to let the customer know that the order is shipped, uh, you'll be able to find the status and the information in several places, but you can also proactively notify the user or the customer of the fact that the order has shipped. You can have a custom email notification with your own color scheme, branding, and notify them that it's on the way. Starship has the eNotify template designer here that you can use to customize those email notifications, adding graphics and logos, links back into your carts, or your websites. I have control over the color scheme for both the background colors and the font. So you can have this completely branded with your look and feel. Uh, you'll have control over the timing of the email and any responses will come back directly to you because it's not being sent through the carrier. It's sent out through your own SMTP server. So you have 
um, visibility to any responses that are coming back to you from the customer. One of the nice things about doing the email notification through Starship is having access to attachments. So you can do some additional marketing here with your emails. So you can have a catalog or some piece of literature, warranty information attached from an external directory or any of the shipping documents. So if you want to send out a copy of a uh, bill of lading, a uh, packing list, any types of documents, we can PDF those and automatically send that out. Quick look at some of the different documents we offer. I have a few different layouts of the label and packing list. Uh, we have a number of different bills of lading. We have the VIX, the straights. Uh, we can also get bills of lading directly from the carrier's APIs. Uh, there's also a master bill of lading if you're doing a, a truckload or a multi-stop type of shipment, as well as all of your um, export documents. You have the uh, commercial invoice, the NAFTA and US certificate of origins. Uh, if you're using a broker, the shipper's letter of instruction. So any of those documents can be PDF'd and then attached with the email templates. This could also be used for uh, sending internal alerts as well. So if you wanna bring over an email, um, you can set up different uh, types of email templates to be triggered based on who the audience may be. There's rules that you can configure uh, to address that to whomever the, the correct person should be. All right, that just about covers all of the material that I had prepared for today's webinar. We can open it up to some questions at this time. If you do have any questions, feel free to type those into the question area in your GoToWebinar control panel. And we'll just pause here for a moment to see if we have any questions coming in. Okay, it looks like we have a question from Jake here. Uh, what is the cost of the e-commerce modules? Uh, so if you have an existing Starship license with GP, you can add any of the uh, cart platforms for the same price as uh, one of our add-on carriers. They are $9.75 plus the applicable maintenance. Uh, we also have a bundle of uh, e-commerce modules. So you, if for one price at $2,500, you get access to every one of the e-commerce modules that. Uh, we've published and any future uh, cards that we're gonna be adding to the software. All right, looks like we have a question from Megan asking, is this available on both the desktop or only in the web version. Yes, uh, this is available across uh, both platforms. Uh, so if you still haven't upgraded yet to the web client, uh, you can still take advantage of this functionality in the desktop client as well. Uh, so you can reach me via email or my direct extension is 229 if you have any follow-up questions that we can assist you with or you'd like a quote on any of the e-commerce modules, feel free to contact me and we can get you set up with that. I'd like to thank everyone for your time and attention today. Thanks and have a great day.